having hyperpigmentation my hyperpigmentation were not going it was almost as if it was a rebound hyperpigmentation and i was now wondering who sent me welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome please do not make it your last join my community by hitting the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you get notified whenever i post a new video okay so i'm going for a date that is why you can't oh my god <laughs> yeah so and to my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for always coming back in today's video i want to tell you guys like some of the in clinic treatments you can get for your skin especially if you're battling hyperpigmentation and for the longest i have battled i have an oily acne prone skin so i always have hyperpigmentation i always have um acne and you know enlarged pores sometimes so the three treatments that has been consistent in my spa appointment is number one derma planning so basically derma planning is just you know shaving your face i know yes shaving your face you know to reveal the actual texture of your skin especially if you're a hairy person i am hairy so i have hairs on my face okay so i shave that out so you can actually see how bad the hyperpigmentations are because when i have like hairs I don't know if you guys understand but yes when i have hairs on my face I, I can't even tell if my hyperpigmentation is fading or it is the hair covering it okay so derma planning is one of the in clinic treatment that i was constantly getting every month back to back and it's really really helped with my hyperpigmentation it's helped to improve the appearance of my hyperpigmentation and guys it is very nice it is effective if you're using derma planning and after that you go home with your um you go home to continue with your home um treatment like your normal skincare routine you're still going to have um tyrosinase inhibitor in your routine but the derma planning and the in clinic treatment they are going to give you afterwards is going to help fade your hyperpigmentation faster now the second treatment is micro needling now micro needling is a procedure where they inject certain treatments using a sterile needle like is it painful when i had it it wasn't exactly painful but you will feel it that they are doing they, they will numb your skin to do that and then they begin to inject this um treatment into your skin it it all depends on what you want the depth with which they can go depends on what you want so when i did my own i just I, ju I didn't make it like so deep it was just like on i don't know but it wasn't so deep i don't know how to explain it it wasn't so deep so after that for the first few days you're going to feel as though your skin is darkening but you have to be patient with micro needling okay because when your glow begins to come it's, it's going to be coming like magic so i totally loved the result i got with um micro needling and yes it, it is really good really good for hyperpigmentation because instead of these products being topically applied on this on your skin it is being injected basically into your skin and then it begins to renew your skin cells your hyperpigmentation begins to get better it begins to even out your skin tone gradually sometimes when you actually get the effect like that wow kind of skin after micro needling maybe like two weeks maybe like three weeks and it's you can stay without getting another micro needling for like another three months or if your hyperpigmentation eventually clears up with that particular treatment then you can stop i totally love it but i'm going to tell you which one is actually my favorite of these three treatments the third treatment is chemical peel you heard me right so chemical peel please note all these treatments has to be administered by a professional esthetician it is important please don't go to any mushroom spa don't go to any spa where they concoct any kind of thing and they begin to put it on your face go to a spa where if anything goes wrong you can sue 
please go to a licensed esthetician to get any of these treatments if you have hyperpigmentation this routine also works for people that have wrinkles but basically it is for hyperpigmentation back to what i was saying chemical peel now chemical peel is a process where they apply certain exfoliants you know like we have um salicylic acid mandelic acid this treatment that they use at this person sometimes is a combination of two or more um, chemical exfoliants in higher percentages. It is only licensed estheticians that have access to those kind of um, exfoliants with such high percentages because they know it's for in-clinic treatment and they know all the um, precautions to take when using it on a client. Do you understand? So chemical peel, let me tell you. Chemical peel is going to give you that baby skin. Baby skin. Your skin is going to glow. The texture of your skin is going to improve. Your hyperpigmentation is going to improve. But, <laughs> you guys, take this from somebody that had two sections of chemical peel, right? And I've had micro needling one section, and I've had constant sections of dermaplaning facials okay let me tell you if you know that your life is not from the house to the car to if you know that even that you run the least errand like you go to the market okay please leave leave chemical peel yeah you heard me leave chemical peel it is not for you your skin is going to glow your hyperpigmentation is going to fade but there's something called rebound hyperpigmentation okay now because you're acne prone if you break out again and get acne scars it becomes more difficult to fade this is my is my personal experience i am telling you from personal experience it is not they said or it this is not even research based this is me life and direct telling you that if you know that your life is not from ac to ac to ac kind of life leave chemical peel even if your your life is from ac to ac and ac kind of life if you have acne prone skin you're constantly going to deal with hyperpigmentation and if you've had a chemical peel done before your hyperpigmentation is going to be way difficult to fade after that. If you disagree, please do let me know in the comment section because I am telling you based on my own experience right now. Because after my chemical peel sections, my skin was great, everything was great. And then I traveled in April to the village. I think it was the weather, the water, everything was just so. And then... I had a um, closed commodore, like my pores were so congested. You could feel the texture of my skin was as though I had sand on my face. And before I knew what was happening, acne breakouts. It was new every morning. The acne was new every morning. I wake up every single day to acne on my face. I was treating, I was using benzoyl peroxide gel 10% to spot treats, but my darling, it kept coming. I still kept at it, trying to get like, just control it, so so it would just leave me alone. Eventually, it's it's left. Acne dried up. I still have like a few, even if I have makeup on. If you look very well here, you can see one here. That one has been dead, but it has is no longer inflamed. It's no longer painful. But I have hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I have them now. Okay. And it is proving difficult to fade. It is proving difficult to fade. I'm not going to lie to you. So if you ask me in, in my own opinion, I would say if you have um, oily acne prone skin, there are just few in-clinic treatments that you should get. If you can afford a micro needling, Please go for it. It's, it's your best bet for your hyperpigmentation. Then derma planning is okay. It's great as well. If you have like solid home care routine, it is amazing. Ordinarily, if you go in for any facials, you know, they are going to like do the steaming. Okay. 
if you're getting micro needling done and chemical peel, no they don't do steaming they do extractions though but the demo planning they're going to do steaming they're going to do extractions like to get out all those um black heads and white heads and stuff you know get all of that out and just have your skin feeling smooth after each facial section your skin texture improves so if you can if you have the money and you can afford to splurge i would advise that you get a facial treatment even if it's once every quarter like once in three months personally i check into this spa every month sometimes for me it, it is just a therapy it is just a therapy for me that is why I just go, even if it's to just maybe get only my facials done, just get only the deep cleansing facial. The deep cleansing facial is just a basic facial where they extract black heads, white head, you know, steam your face and just exfoliate your skin, basically. So deep cleanse, um, derma planning, micro needling and chemical peel but if you have hyper pigmentation and you do not want to enjoy soft skin smooth skin for a while and begin to suffer rebound hyperpigmentation stay away from chemical peel limit whatever you're doing to micro needling these are the three um, kind of in clinic treatments that i have gotten and i am telling you from personal experience that i would choose micro needling over chemical peel any day any time i kid you not so let me know do you go to the spa? Do you visit the spa for any form of in-clinic treatment? Have you tried any of the in-clinic treatment, the micro-needling, the chemical peel, the demo planning? Let me know in the comment section what your experience was, okay? Because I would really love to read from, from you guys, okay? Let me know in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching up until this point. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe and like this video. Also share it so that somebody who is contemplating on what in-clinic treatment to get would, you know, make an informed decision. Again, micro-needling over chemical peel. And that is my own personal opinion and preference. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.